So today we will be modeling this particular cyclone. The cyclone is mostly used in industrial applications. It's a kind of filter which centrifugally filter out the dust. We start with the part file first. And let's save it for the first time. Cyclone. So we'll go to sketch. Select the plane. We'll select the top plane. Let's enter the dimension as 500 mm. And then we need to do another arc. We'll start from here. Yeah. Select line. Select. I will trim out this. Make coincident. Make tangent. So since it is not defined. We need to give another dimension to it. Let's give it, since it's a radius, so let's give it 350 or even lesser. Let's give it 300 instead. Yes. Now we will extrude this. Say 500 mm. At the bottom, create another sketch, normal, extrude it, let's give it 300 mm. At the center of it, create another sketch. Sorry, not at the center, but at the distance. So we'll first create a plane, which is at a distance of say 500 mm, and use this and create sketch. Normal. Let's consider it as 200. Now we will loft it. Add this plane. Loft. So we select this. Select this corner. flange at the bottom but before that we need to have some cylindrical surface we will use this convert and extrude it say 100 mm and same at the top Convert, extrude this, ended them again. So now what we see, 
is the basic body which is completed. Now we need to do an outlet of this as well. So we will make another reference geometry which is a plane at a distance of say 400 mm. then we will use this for sketch and let's make it a rectangle of flange select let's constrain it horizontal make it vertical now we will add dimensions say it 100 by 100 we will loft it again this one see if yes just need to correct the pick points and again we need to add some straight face I would rather use move face command but that won't work I'm sorry so let's use the sketch it is selected we just need to convert it close extrude 100 mm again and this till here so now the basic body is done now we need to just shell it shell it select the faces to be removed shell outward and done so it is hollow from inside now we need to add a tube at the inside also what I will do I will do a cross section of it Sketch, convert, close, extrude base up to surface here, then thin feature one mm. Okay, so this is done. Now we need to add flanges on it. Let's select this face. Sketch. Normal. extrude base say 5 mm let's keep it a separate body it already is I think yes it's a separate body this will help us later I will explain you how so we select this face again sketch what I can do, I can project the same sketch, same face, convert, ok, the internal circle rated came, so we will select this, convert this, ok, extrude base, select Okay, 
something is wrong. Now it should work. same thing we need to do here also sketch select line select loop convert select chain offset how much 50 it looks slightly bigger but it's fine for now extrude 5 mm don't merge it okay so the body is complete we just need to add some holes on it so that when it is screwed with the other parts we can use those holes so we'll add some holes over here so we'll select the whole wizard We'll use drilled holes. You can select any of the standard. I'm using ISO. I'm using die 10. Now for positioning, it's asking us to position it. Let's position it somewhere here. Dimension it. Let's make it normal first. Smart dimension. Say it's one twenty five. Okay. So now it has got holes in the entire body, which we don't want. So we'll edit this feature again and we will use select bodies option here, which is already selected. So we'll deselect the middle one, which is this one. Okay, let's select this and this again. So now you see it is only there in the flanges. Let's do a circular pattern for this. Select features, which is this whole feature. Direction, we can have an axis or we can select the surface also. Let's give it 20. So the holes are done on the top and bottom flange. We can have it here also. You can select hole wizard, drill, same. Now we will use it to position. Escape it. What I'll do, I'll use an offset command instead. Select loop, offset, not 50, but 25. Okay. Let's make this for construction. make it coincident back to placement we can add number of holes based on our requirement I'm doing same problem here we need to just deselect what is not required to be drilled set so we are done with the basic body you can hide these planes just save it once and we can give some colors to it 
can give it orange color since it is for the entire part let's use the different color for different bodies this is to select bodies so let's select orange for the central body okay and let's use the black color for the flanges so now you see the black the flanges are already black but what it is doing it is converting the whole part black which is but because we have selected orange color for the main body so that is being overwritten so we can do this also that also work but if you don't want to do this we can go again to body selection keep the selection of the color and we can simply select the individual bodies so now you see this is this is complete this is finished once this is ready if you want to change the shape it is pretty simple you just need to double click not here maybe here yeah because that is we can simply change the values as we like i want to make it 200 now rebuild it like that we can change it or maybe 300 I mean I don't have any sketch readily so I'm doing it here itself we can edit this loft also make it say 700 this looks a bit better can I add some fillets to the corners Let's keep it 10 mm much better so this is just a basic cyclone which we use mostly in industrial applications I hope this video is a good use for you at some point of time during your job so I'll uh, see you next time thank you